गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास वी आर स्टडिंग लेसन सिक्स ऑफ साइंस दैट इज रॉक्स एंड मिनरल्स इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर डूइंग द एक्सरसाइज डी दैट इज आंसर द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन नाउ द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग अबाउट दिस एक्सरसाइज इज इफ यू हैव मिस्ड एनी ऑफ द टॉपिक वाइल एक्सप्लेनेशन और इफ यू हैव एनी कन्फ्यूजन ऑन एनी पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक यू विल योर डाउट्स विल बी क्लियर here also because i am going to explain the question answers also so listen it carefully question 1 how are sedimentary rocks formed name different types of sedimentary rocks students there are three types of rocks are found on the earth you have studied igneous rock sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rock so the question is about sedimentary rock how it is formed and name different types of sedimentary rock you have to name the different types of sedimentary rock let's read the answer first the rock particles are carried away by the wind and water these rocks are formed from the deposition of layers of rock particles these rocks are also formed from the shells of sea creatures different types of sedimentary rocks are sandstone shale conglomerate and limestone okay now listen it carefully You have studied that big rocks are broken into smaller pieces due to the effect of sunlight, snow, air, water, etc. They make them weak. So they broken into smaller pieces, and strong wind and running water carried them with them. Carried uh, them with it. So they carried them to the beds of the ocean, or sea, or river, and they get collected over there. on the beds of the ocean now when they get collected they they become joined with each other because the mineral present in the water with these rocks there they have shells of the sea creatures also these shells basically found on the water animals body when the that animal died the shells also get collected into the ocean beds so the sedimentary rocks have small rock particles as well as the shells of sea creatures both get joined together or get cemented together and formed sedimentary rocks different types of sedimentary rocks are sandstone shale conglomerate and limestone okay now second question what is the difference between shale and slate shale shale is a sedimentary rock it is made of clay particles cemented together okay shale is a kind of sedimentary rock and it is made from clay particles clay particles when get cemented together cemented means joined together they form sedimentary rock now slate slate is made from shale slate is made from shale this can split into thin layers it can broken into thin layers and slate is a metamorphic rock slate is a kind of metamorphic rock and shale is a kind of sedimentary rock now shale it is used to make bricks and tiles we use shale to make bricks and tiles brick is used for constructing the building and tiles is used in floorings now slate it is used to make blackboard and handheld writing board hand hand writing board is a kind of slate and blackboard you all know now question number 3 what is the difference between lava and magma i hope you remember i have explained it very uh, clearly but then to i'll explaining here again magma hot molten rocks when present inside the earth is called magma you all know that inside the earth there are big rocks present over there and due to the ha uh, high temperature that big rocks converted into molten rocks molten means which melts so hot molten rocks when present inside the earth it is called magma magma has high temperature than lava because it is inside the earth inside the earth the temperature is very high hot molten rocks 
when flows on the earth surface it is called lava and lava has less temperature than magma okay now i want to show you a diagram which i uh, draw when i was explaining you the chapter here you can see a mountain over here suppose it is a part or a part of a earth now here you can see a orange or light color uh, molten uh, river like look this is what this is the molten rocks when the when due to the high uh, temperature the rocks get melts it becomes like this so when this molten rocks are inside the this is inside the earth inside the earth it is called magma and when it flows outside the earth or when it comes outside the earth or on the surface of the earth it is called lava magma has high temperature and lava has less temperature okay so this is the difference between magma and lava now we will move to the next question what are igneous rocks and name any two igneous rocks so here you want to here, here you need to explain what are igneous rock and you have to name any two igneous rock basically there are four types of igneous rock but you have to write only two name of the two igneous rocks are formed by the cooling and hardening of hot molten rocks now you have studied now that mag about magma and lava so when the magma or lava becomes cool and hard they form igneous rocks the hot molten rocks flows out through a volcano they are they came out the molten rocks came out uh, in uh, from the earth through a volcano magma or lava cools down and hardens to form igneous rock whether it is a magma or lava when it cools down and become hard they form igneous rock about 95% of the earth crust is made of igneous rock means earth base base of the earth is made of igneous rock and how much percentage is 95 around 95% of the earth crust is made of igneous rock means on the base of the earth we found 95% on the earth is made up of igneous rock igneous rocks contain many minerals it contains so many minerals like mica feldspar etc okay now examples of two igneous rocks are granite and pumice these are the two names of the igneous rock basically igneous rocks are of four types we have to uh, in according to the question we have to name the two granite you all know granite we use to make the platform of the uh, kitchen or in we use granite in flooring also in making statues also and pumice basically we use or dentist used to polish our teeth uh, uh, our builders used to polish the floor as well as it is used for beauty purposes also uh, our mothers or sister or family members also use pumice it is a very light weighted rock and a uh, green color so dear student in this way we have completed four question answers of this chapter now rest four we will complete in the next class hope you all understood all the things if you have any query regarding any topic you are free to ask me so thank you